Well, I am ridiculously behind on toy unboxings. So I thought it'd be fun to do a two for one. And when I say kind of, I mean, we've got steel here and then I get home today and my McFarlane run fair platinum steel arrived. So I'm behind and I thought, well, let's just open both of them right now. What do you think? Action figure unboxing time, let's go. So just in case you are unfamiliar with this character, I'm gonna read off the bio on the back. Real name, John Henry Irons. During one fateful day at a construction site, Superman saved former engineer John Henry Irons' life. Following Superman's deadly battle with Doomsday, Irons took up the mantle to protect Metropolis. Using his technical expertise, Irons constructed a powerful armor suit adorned with the iconic S shield as a tribute. John Henry's armor granted him super strength and flight. Irons also developed a weaponized self-propelled hammer in honor of John Henry's American folk hero namesake. After Superman's return, Irons continued his work on two fronts, aiding the world through technology with his company's steelworks and protecting the skies of Metropolis as steel. So this figure comes with one accessory. It is his hammer. And I'm seeing that a lot of people are having issues with it online. I've seen a lot of groups because this is kind of flimsy a little bit, but my best advice is because they've been doing stuff like this for a long time. My best advice is just to change up, change up your poses every once in a while and you won't have the, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna right off the bat, just for selfish reasons, go ahead and give this a grade A because there was only one little piece of plastic that kept him in there. And when I tell you that those things drive me insane, they drive me insane. But taking a look at this figure, I do think I need to heat it up a little bit. The joints are a bit stiff, but he's pretty damn impressive looking. I mean, look at, look at all this detail that went into this guy. Head sculpt's pretty cool. The cape pops. I'm not gonna mess with the articulation too much just because the legs do feel a bit stiff and I really don't wanna break anything right now. But this figure is pretty dang impressive. I dig it. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one for a long time, so it's out. If you can find it, definitely grab yourself a John Henry Irons steel. Now let's go to work on this Platinum Edition. You can tell the difference between the two. He's got more of an all gray and black and steel looking color scheme versus, you know, the other one. So let's crack this one open. So I'll be honest, not much for this release differs from the original release. Uh, actually, yeah, I got the same amount of stiffness in the legs. If you were to pose this guy, I definitely recommend, at least my figure, is pretty stiff. So rinse some hot water, boil them joints up. But man, this figure looks pretty sweet. I'm glad that I had the chance to win this particular action figure. I can't tell which one I like more though. I don't know, they're both equally really cool. Check it out. Yeah, I mean, they both platinum, regular, platinum, regular. I don't know, what do you guys think? Which one's the cooler of the two steels? Let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna give this a grade A solid action figure. Not one of my like absolute favorite characters, but definitely needed in the collection if you're gonna be a Superman collector, right? Anyway, show this video some love in the comments. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.